In the midst of the Galactic War of 2166, deep within the dense jungle of planet Xerion, Galactic Alliance snipers Xander and Jake lay in wait in ambush in the dense foliage of Xerion's jungle, cloaked in advanced stealth suits. Before them lies the Galactic Alliance outpost, while dense alien flora surrounds them on all sides. Xander, known as the Quick Death among the enemy soldiers, is on the hunt for a notorious alien sniper known as the Snake, who has been striking fear into the hearts of Galactic Alliance soldiers, picking them off near their living quarters. Over an hour later, he and Jake navigate through twisted alien vegetation and debris from previous skirmishes. The jungle echoes with the sound of plasma blasts as the snake takes shots at the Galactic Alliance outpost. Amidst the chaos, he notices a suspicious vantage point. Foliage shows signs of disturbance, hinting at the sniper's previous presence. He signals to Jake, We've got a trail. Let's move uphill. They advance stealthily, moving like phantoms through the shadows. They follow the stream, Xander leading the reconnaissance. They track the sniper until darkness falls, halting their pursuit. The pursuit resumes with the dawn of a new day. They press forward, but his instincts sense danger lurking. He pauses, scanning the area for any signs of danger. The snake lies in wait, anticipating their arrival. They decide to proceed cautiously, crawling through the underbrush. As the day progresses, he surveys the terrain ahead with his advanced optics. A hidden alcove at the trail's end draws his focus. He senses danger and lowers his optics, a chill running down his spine. The alcove appears suspiciously cleared of debris a sign of a trap. He consults his digital map display, analyzing the terrain for potential threats. Beyond the alcove lies a natural depression in the terrain and he decides to circumvent the trap. They veer off the trail, maneuvering around the potential ambush site. They emerge cautiously, having circumvented the danger but remaining vigilant. He observes a gathering of alien wildlife, sensing the presence of their target. The snake uses the flying creatures as an early warning system against potential threats. Xander distracts the creatures by tossing a small object into their midst, and they scatter in a flurry of motion, followed by silence. He readies his weapon, anticipating the snake's reaction to the disturbance, when he hears a subtle noise amidst the silence of the jungle, a faint wheezing sound. He realizes it's Jake's breathing that he hears, indicating his comrade's distress. Any noise could spell disaster for their stealthy approach. Unbeknownst to them, the snake has flanked them from behind, concealed by the terrain. He and Jake share a tense glance as they realize the danger they're in. With adrenaline surging, they bolt from their position, crashing through the underbrush in a desperate escape. On the opposite side of the ridge, the snake curses his misfortune, then stealthily assumes the abandoned position of the Alliance soldiers. The snake readies his alien weapon, scanning the undergrowth for any signs of movement. Concealed by the foliage, he and Jake regroup, assessing their next move. They forego peeking, confident in the snake's location. They stealthily ascend the slope, seeking a vantage point amidst the alien foliage. Meanwhile, the snake scans the surroundings through his advanced scope. He detects a slight movement amid the foliage, a faint white shape. A triumphant grin crosses his alien features, he steadies his aim, preparing to take the shot. He and Jake cautiously traverse a fallen tree trunk. His senses prick as he detects a disturbance in the alien foliage. He wonders if it's the local wildlife or a potential threat. Xander's heightened awareness causes him to make an uncharacteristic error. 
He, who is known for his precision, inadvertently steps on a decaying tree, causing it to give way beneath him. The snake seizes the opportunity, firing a shot that narrowly misses his head. Xander realizes the fortunate error has spared him. He quickly checks himself for injuries. He turns to Jake, who appears visibly shaken. Jake's grip tightens on his equipment pouch, his knuckles turning white. The canteen has been punctured, dousing Jake's leg, but miraculously, he remains unharmed. Meanwhile, the snake swiftly abandons his position, fleeing over the ridge and disappearing into the alien underbrush. He and Jake hear the snake's retreat and give chase. They ascend the slope and take up positions on the ridge, overlooking the opposite side. He scans the terrain with his weapon while Jake provides support with the binoculars. Meanwhile, concealed amid the foliage, the snake spots Xander and Jake from below aiming his weapon. Suddenly, a blinding white flash emanates from the underbrush, catching Xander off guard. A plasma blast from the Jake's rifle echoes through the jungle, and the snake collapses, defeated. Later, during the post-mission analysis, he examines the snake's weapon and discovers the scope shattered. Both the front and rear lenses are shattered, indicating a precise shot through the entire scope. You hit him through the scope, Jake. I spotted the reflection and fired straight through, Jake said. He had you in his sights, and I reacted quicker. He and Jake would part ways, each continuing their battles across the galaxy. Jake would meet his end in a skirmish the following year, and Xander would return to the Galactic Alliance after a harrowing encounter with enemy forces. He and his comrades were engulfed in flames from the explosion. Xander heroically rescued seven soldiers from the Inferno, sustaining severe injuries in the process. He returned to Earth with a record-breaking kill count of 90, though he suspected his true tally surpassed that. The snake hunt mission was just one of many dangerous confrontations he faced throughout his years of combat, and his reputation lives on long after his death, as he is recognized as a Galactic Alliance hero. He once said, I excel at marksmanship and relish the thrill of the hunt, but taking a life was never my desire. But it was my duty. If I didn't eliminate those threats, they would have slaughtered countless soldiers like those under my command.